ahead. The fuel pump on the 7.3 power stroke is on the rail. So it's not a direct injection pump. So, so how that works is that you have the fuel pump on the rail, and before the fuel pump, you have the pollock valve, and you have the pressure sensor, because what you remember is the fuel pump has to pull the fuel through the pollock valve. Do not, again, push fuel through a pollock valve. It doesn't work like that. It will not work. So under the, tank, under the hood on these is really very simple. You've got two lines here that are cut into your heater core, and these lines are going back to heat your tank. And essentially, all you're doing is trying to create a loop to go back and heat the uh, stock tank. Again, the stock tank is 44 gallons on these. So as the water moves through, under the hood is not where, the, uh, where all the work has to be done on these. Where the work is done is between the fuel pump and the filter. And that's where you have to install both the pollock valve and you have to install the, uh, the sensor for the, uh, for the fuel pressure. So really under the hood is very simple. The only thing you're doing under the hood is a little bit of electrical work over here, uh, setting up a new little pod that comes directly off your battery so you've got some places to get uh, pinch power. And then uh, tying in your lines for your, for your coolant heated uh, tank. That's really all, that's simply that's all you have to do under the hood on these. The real work is done underneath them. Uh, which is, again, a very good thing because you know how if you do have a problem and you're taking it to a mechanic, uh, the mechanic then can work on everything under here and it's stock and it's factory and it's easy to fool with and there's nothing, nothing you have to get to, to, to worry about. So the, the more you can leave stock under here on the 7.3s, the better off you are. Wow. Man, that's a good thing.